Hi guys, welcome to Solar 10. So this is our latest video. Sorry we haven't done one for ages, but um, we've just completed Solar 10. We've just finished a quick boat show and we just wanted to show you guys around. So on the roof, we have seven kilowatts of solar panels. It's made up of 21, 330 watt panels. The reason why we've gone with a massive solar, pack, solar array on a day like today, which is reasonably dull. I know it's probably hard for you guys to see, but it's overcast, there's some dark clouds. She's probably producing about 1600 watts. If we had a small array, three or four panels, we'd only be doing about 50, 60 watts. Hence, massive array, dull days, we're still producing a large amount of energy. So again, we have our 96 kilowatt hour battery made up of 48 two volt cells, 1000 amp hours each. Again, these bat we've gone with a, with a massive battery so that we're not fully cycling a small battery and taking a big chunk of its lifespan. This, this makes the batteries last exponentially longer than if we had a small battery. Um, again, we've got our twin electric motors. They're both 10 kilowatts each and they can both peak at 20 kilowatts. So that gives us a total of 40 kilowatts um, should we need to emergency brake or get out of trouble in a hurry. We'll give her a quick blast. There she goes. Extremely quiet, same as before. Again, we've gone with these motors as they're extremely efficient. The best way of converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. This boat also has some other neat features that Sunflower didn't have. One is a water treatment plant. So Sona 10 can suck dirty water out of a dirty canal, treat it, sterilize it and fill the tanks with it. This saves going to water points to fill up continuously. The only maintenance involved is changing the filters on it every six months. The filter system consists of a three-stage filter, which is a 10 micron sediment filter, a five micron carbon filter, and a one micron activated carbon filter. The water then goes through a UV sterilizer, which zaps anything that might've got through those three stages of filters and fills the tank. Um, Solar 10 also has an air source heat pump. Should she be plugged into a marina over winter, um, instead of using logs, she can literally plug into the grid, hopefully with a green energy supplier, and then she can turn two kilowatts of electrical energy into eight kilowatts of heat energy inside the boat. This is quite a neat feature. Unfortunately, the low sun angle in winter doesn't give us enough energy to heat the boat. That's why we've had to come up with other, other clever ways of doing that. Welcome to the interior of Solar 10. Um, so a couple of things we've done different from Solar, uh, from Solar 1, from Sunflower, is we've put the solar controller inverters in the cupboard in the kitchen. It makes them easier to program. Again, once again, these are the solar MPPT solar controllers. So they take the energy from the solar panels and they charge the batteries at exactly the rate that they like to be charged at. They also, they also inverters which are parallel together. So each one gives you five kilowatts and parallel they give you 10 kilowatts AC power to the rest of the boat. They also your shore power chargers. So there's a 16 amp and a 32 amp uh, plug-in point, depending on the marina that you're at, where you can charge the batteries off should you need to. Again, our kitchen, we've chosen all appliances for their efficiencies. So we've got an electric oven, um, we've got a full-size dishwasher, we have a washing machine, we have an induction hob, we also have an extractor fan. Um, and then also there's a large Bosch fridge freezer, which is also really nice to have on a boat. And we couldn't, couldn't have a boat without an in-floor wine cellar again. Everyone's favorite, favorite feature of the boat is just a purse big sheet. It, it allows us access to the steel hull underneath underfloor heating should we ever need to get in there. The worktops are polished concrete. Um, again, we've not gone with the floating island option. It just gives you the option to move it out the way and open the space up completely or make an L-shaped breakfast bar off the side of the kitchen. So if we ordered a, this boat has an off-grid heating solution, which is a wood pellet boiler, which unfortunately didn't arrive for the show, so we can't show it to you as yet. It'll probably be waiting for us when we get back to the yard. She also has the option to have an eco log burner, the same as Sunflower. She's all plumbed and ready to go for that. So they're kind of two options you could choose. Last thing about the wood pellet boiler is it has 95% uh, efficiency. It's app controlled, so you can switch it to come on before you get home, or you can switch it to come on in the morning before you wake up, should you need. So the same as Sunflower, she has underfloor heating, quite unusual on a boat. 
there's also only a ton of pea shingle in between that network instead of the 18 tons that uh, Sunflower has, which makes her a big, heavy 42 ton boat. Solar 10 only weighs 25 tons. Um, we have a kind of nifty coffee table arrangement here, which kind of opens up and lets you kind of eat at your eat at the sofa. You also put a laptop on there should you be working from home and need a laptop space. The bed. The sofa is similar to the one on Sunflower. Also doubles as a bed, has a double bed. This pops up should you, should you want to have guests over, making you a six berth. There's also some storage underneath the sofa as well, for all your linen for your guests. We've gone again with a really nice feature wall, which we like on Sunflower, so we've done again. This is a photograph print, um, which just kind of adds some interest to the room. Um, next, we have our second bedroom space. So we put a small desk in there, which could have a wardrobe. Um, and there's also lots of storage below the bed. It's a divan bed, so it pulls up. Um, pile all your linen or your guests' clothes. And through the passage, um, there's some bookshelving and some storage below the gunnels. We just kind of utilize the space that we've, that we've got. Um, again, same story. We've got uh, sliding doors, pocket doors. Just We just think it's a really good use of the space. Um, onto her bathroom. Again, quite contemporary. Instead of using tiles, we've used wall panels. It just means no grass, less cleaning, easier to maintain. Um, she has a, a tile rail, small basin. She has a heated mirror mirror um, cabinet um, which means you don't get mist when you're having a shower um, again we've gone with a composting toilet um, we we again think it's brilliant it saves going to um, black water pump out stations um, it saves water um, for us it's just a no-brainer um, she uh, solar 10 has a shower bath so there's a shower above her and the bath has a jacuzzi so um, yeah he also <laughs> couple of nifty other little extras that we thought would be handy because she collects her own water and water's not a problem we just thought we'd use that so the other thing that the bathroom has is a nearing cupboard um, so this is vented to the utility cupboard so any excess warmth in there helps to keep it keep any linen dry inside there we go through to the utility cupboard um, again exactly the same as sunflower she has a heat recovery ventilation system so it takes the warm stale air from a high points in the boat it takes it through this heat exchanger it then warms the cold fresh air coming in so it changes all the air in the boat every hour stopping any condensation or any any uh, high humidity in the boat and it also recovers 70 percent of the heat with traditional mushroom vents on a boat basically just let any any heat that's created in the boat just leaves the boat as heat rises and escapes there's all the other gubbins inside here. We also, because we're mechanically ventilating the boat, we have an air filtration system. So all the air that comes into the into the unit goes through a through a carbon filter, which takes out 99.9% .9 all the pollutants. So if you parked up next to your diesel neighbors who run in generators in the evening, you can still be breathing clean air and not breathe all those pollutants in. There's also all the controls for lots of the things in the boat, um, from the bath jacuzzi to the ventilation system, there's different speeds. Um, there's immersion timers, underfloor heating timers, underfloor heating pumps, and even the tile rail electrical heaters all, all inside there. So off to the master cabin. Um, so again, we furnish this very minimalistically. So you have choices to change furniture, add furniture if you like. There's space for a big freestanding wardrobe over there. There is a small wardrobe built into there um, with, some, with some hanging space and some shelving. Um, there's loads of storage under the bed. It's one of these divan beds that pulls up. Um, we put these integrated bedside tables so you can put all your things and hide them away should you want. Um, we also have storage under the steps to the front of the boat, same as the, same as the rear, um, kind of for shoes and things. There's a small water tank underneath the front of the boat, uh, as well as the bow thruster controls. Um, that was Solar 10. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or any suggestions, please do let us know.